Oh, good evening. Welcome back to Space Cadets. On the night, you will learn who's been selected for the mission and will be blasting off in less than 24 hours. And funnily enough, I'm in the, uh, the bit they're going to arrive in. The blacked-out coach will come in here and there's space. There'll be loads of activity, loads of people around just to give it that pre-mission kind of atmosphere. And they'll be going up those stairs there and into the uh, non-existent space shuttle. Obviously, it's a bit of a problem because we haven't actually got a shuttle for them to see. It's a bit like, you know, if you get on a plane at an airport, you always want to see the plane you're getting on board. Unfortunately, uh, we won't have that luxury. Anyway, first off, it's time for a bit of morale boosting with an early Christmas party. If the prospect of becoming Britain's first televised space tourist wasn't enough, imagine the cadets' excitement when they return to barracks to find that Christmas has come to Krimsk. <laughs> The cadets waste no time in decorating the barracks. Job done. The cadets enjoy the festivities. After a traditional Christmas dinner with all the trimmings, Val pops in to see them. <laughs> Kerry is quick to introduce Val to the great British tradition of kissing under the mistletoe. Billy, Billy, Billy. Billy. Mistletoe! And what's it for? Mistletoe! You have to kiss! Am I? Yeah, you have to kiss! No, on the lips, it has, yeah. to, be, it has to be on the lips. No, it can't be on the lips. Daddy's on the lips. Not faithful. <laughs> Pointy. <laughs> I think he fell off the chair, actually. Val, <laughs> well, say hello to the British public. Say hello to my mum, Wendy. Hello, British public. <laughs> and my mum. Yeah, and say and hello then, to my mum, Ingrid. And Gary's mum. Yeah, Wendy. And uh, Astrid's mum. Yeah, this is Val, this is our PT man. Val, what, was you, what message would you like to give out to the British people? That we're going to do a fitness video, the three of us? Yeah, 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 we're going to Stretch do that. in with Astrid, hardcore with Kerry and Yeah, Val. I do the beginning part, and then you do, like, the warm-up, and then you actually do the exercise. On your own. <laughs> we wake up, but we make the money. Oh, we do, but we, do you we get the profit. profit here with, with me. me. Val! Charlie helps Val increase his already impressive reputation among the cadets by colluding with him to play a joke on the others. Three of clubs. Three of clubs. Later, I'll, when you go, I'll say, wait, Val, see if you can guess what card. And I'll, I'll hold it there. Let's and you guess it right. Three. three of clubs. Three of clubs. Right, guys. I tell you what. Have fun. Oh. See, you, see you in a while. See you in a while. Yeah. Hour? Yeah. You get That's some right. alcohol, Val. That's right. Oh, you're a good man. Val, I don't care what they say about you. I reckon you're all right. Oh, they do. Well, Val, <laughs> nice to see you. Here we go, Val. Before you go. What? Uh, what's the card? Come on, Mr. Mr. Brain Power. Real clubs. What? Oh, oh my God! Fuck oh, 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 me! Oh, 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 fuck off that one! Is it? Charlie, let's see. Charlie, show it. Him. Charlie held up a card and said, Val, right, what is this card? And Val stood there, he took his breath in, and went, three of clubs. And what was it, Cheryl? The three of clubs. Amazing. That is absolutely amazing. amazing. The guy has got mega special powers. Beyond our knowledge. Val is superhuman. Val super. is superhuman. Good old Val. He's already been compared to Superman and Spider-Man. Now he can add Paul Daniels to that list of superheroes. I imagine he'd like that, but not a lot ski. Interesting, uh, that bit with the card, though, wasn't it? I mean, who hasn't fallen for a card trick? And that's essentially what this show is. One grand illusion, where the cadets... I kind of like those volunteers up on stage. Maybe a hypnotist show, I don't know. Anyway, they've been through three weeks of space training, some genuine, some, it has to be said, they're a bit silly. But now's the time to find out whether they've been paying attention or whether they've, their heads have been in the clouds. The cadets have been in training for almost three weeks and attended hours of space-related lectures, 80% of which were true. Today it's time to find out how much of it they learnt when they take their final exam. 
Okay. James? I'll leave it to you. Good morning, everyone. Good morning. Good morning. OK, this is 45 minutes. And you may start now. And I wish you all the very best luck. Down, papers down, and relax. Okay? That's it. That's the scary part done. <laughs> Do you know what? The test wasn't even stressing me. What annoys me is what for a test, everyone always comes out afterwards and goes, oh, what did you get for this? What did you get for that? Blah, blah, blah. And it's like, well, it was done, is done now. There's no way that checking what you've got is going to change it. And I feel quite confident. I don't know what I'm going to get. Like, everyone's going, I think I've got about 70%. I don't think everyone's... I think everyone's going to get in the 80s. This is nerve-wracking for me, man. Well, I've done it now, so whatever happens, happens, man. I try my, I try my best, man. I feel very annoyed with myself, cos, um... I've done loads of silly mistakes in that poxy test. But um, at the same time, I keep going, oh, and you hear about it. But um, I was just thinking back to when I was doing GCSEs with my IT class, and I come out and I thought I'd done loads of stupid mistakes and I was going to fail, and I come out with an A. I fucking enjoyed that. I thought the tax was hilarious, though. I was laughing. I'm glad. I looked like I had multiple choice. I just thought, piece of piss, because I wasn't bothered anyway, but I just thought, right... Fucking piece of piss. It was easy. It was easy. I Come just on. made some the stupid mistakes. I can't believe a fucking meet. I know what a meteor already is. Because I was, I was, I was saying my head meteor showers. That's when they enter the atmosphere. So it's obviously a meteor. Then I thought, oh fuck it, I just put that one. I'm just annoyed I ain't got 100 percent because I should have really because it was quite easy. It wasn't very hard, but I just made some stupid mistakes through not thinking about it and just rushing, thinking. He said on code elephant, always put on your mag and your red arrow suit. No matter and what, solar flare then is a code, a code elephant. elephant. So if the solar flare's on its way, what? It's going to take you ten minutes to get into your suit. And I thought, fuck it, you must. That's not must be the case. Solar so flares are fast. Yeah, yeah, I know, but, but um, it's like um, fifty minutes away. But in space, right. radio waves are quick, quicker shit, didn't they? It was quite, quite easy actually. Out of a hundred questions, I think you expect to get maybe ten, fifteen wrong. So I'm, I'm cool with that. I think it went really well. Some people are a bit worried. I don't think they need to be that much, but. Uh, we'll find out later, I'll see how we go. Well, there's only one thing more tense than sitting exams, and that is waiting for the results. So, let's pull them, put them out of their misery and let's see how they've done. After successfully completing their training, it's finally graduation time for our cadets. You arrived here 19 days ago as complete space novices. You are all now without exception, potential space tourists. Congratulations. But how will our potential space tourists react to Val's inspiring message? In honour of all that you have achieved here at STAR, I'd like to ask Valera to read a short poem entitled Courage and Endeavour. Zaba, Tiri. Вам нужны следующие компоненты. 500 грамм хороших свиных сосисок. Одно яйцо. 400 грамм белой муки. 4 столовые ложки свиного рассола. Щепотка соли. Щепотка молотого шалфея. 200 грамм молока. Как приготовить? Смешать муку, соль и шалфей. Сбить яйцо, постепенно смешивая с молоком. Растопить смесь и смесь поставить в теплое место на час. Легко обжарить сосиски со всех сторон в гриле, имея в виду, затем они будут жариться еще в смеси. Затем добавьте одну полную столовую ложку горячего жира в смесь. И быстро положите сосиски с оставшимся жиром в противень и залейте все это смесью. 
Поставьте противно разогретую духовку и готовьте 30-35 минут на отметке номер 7. Подавайте тут же, чтобы не раскисло. И в качестве гарнира подайте картошку пюре, корох и солюники огурчики. I'd now like to present you with your certificates and your badges, Andrew Carter. And your badge. Sarah Jane Cass. Hold that to picture. Rainy Door. Cheryl Deary. Paul French. Kerry Hassett. Billy Jackson. Ryan McBride. Louise Nisbet. Astrid Roberts, Charlie Skelton, and your badge. The next 24 hours are crucial. During that time, we will decide which of you are going into space. The only thing left for me to say today is please return to your barracks with Val, have a relaxing afternoon, and then prepare for your celebration dinner tonight. Well done. Really happy. I've got a sort of little badge as well in the middle to say that I did it. Um, can't be too many of them floating around. And if you want uh, the full recipe of Val's special toad in the hole, you can find it on CFAX or just send us a telex. Okay, uh, time for another break, but when we return, at last, the identities of the chosen few will be revealed. The first person allocated a place on board Earth Orbiter One is 